Good morning. Welcome to my dungeon. Uh, sorry, I'm getting weirder every day. I just, I don't know. I'm going uh, to turn off my computer monitor today. And we'll see if that helps with the whole cyborg situation here, but we'll see. Uh, it's been beautiful weather lately. I've been really excited about that. Our family went for a bike ride yesterday, and the day before that we went and kind of ran around the park for a little bit, which was really nice. Um, I had to laugh this morning, though, because... I saw a meme on Facebook. It was two pictures side by side. And the first picture said, everybody normally, and it had everybody just like hunkered down over their phones and their video game consoles and their TVs and their laptops and whatever. And then it's like, everybody during the COVID stay at home order. And it's like everybody walking in the park and riding their bikes and like waving hey to neighbors. And it made me laugh because it's true. Uh, my family has never made such an effort to like go out and just do something every day and it doesn't matter what I mean like go for a quick walk or go for a quick bike ride or just something to get out of the house and since we were told that we should stay in our house so I don't know what broken part of the human brain that is but there is it's probably the same part that uh, tells us as kids that we want to do all of the things that our parents tell us not to do but anyway it's been beautiful it's supposed to be a little bit colder today but hopefully you can at least go outside and enjoy the sun um, for today's fact of the day, I wanted to talk to you about one of my very favorite historical figures, uh, Mithridates. I'm sure you've noticed at this point, I've kind of selfishly just been pursuing my own interests in these videos. Uh, don't blame me. I'm an anthropologist by trade. I love history, especially weird history, which this certainly is. But if you guys have anything in particular that you want me to, to put into one of these videos or do a video about... Let me know. I'm perfectly happy to try to expand my knowledge on various topics. So, drop the message at me, but bless you. Uh, but yeah, so for today we're doing Mithridates. Mithridates of Pontus. He was the ruler of Pontus. Um, he is also, depending on what historical records you are consulting, um, also known as Mithridates Jupiter Dionysus or Mithridates the Great. He was very famously a pretty dogged Roman foe during his lifetime, um, particularly if the writings of Plutarch can be believed. He even supposedly, in 88 BC, um, orchestrated the mass killing of about 150,000 Roman and Italian non-combatants. So, not exactly the nicest guy, but uh, who knows? History is only written by the winners, so I don't know who am I to judge the ancients. Maybe he was a total sweetheart. I don't know. Could have just been a peach. Um, probably not, though. He <laughs> was pretty well known for uh, kind of relentlessly trying to build up his own empire and for some pretty pugnacious foreign policies, but you can read all about that um, later. Anyway, because of this reputation that he had, he spent a good part of his life actually quite paranoid that he would be the victim of some horrible, horrible assassination attempt. And because of that, he spent a lot of his life trying to prevent assassination attempts. So he would wake up and work out every day. He'd try to make his body stronger. He'd try to make himself faster. Um, he would always carry a weapon on him. So just in case somebody attacked him when he was by himself or when he was out in public, he usually had a weapon that he could use to defend himself. Most famously, though, he dabbled pretty heavily in the field of toxicology. So... During this particular time period, it was not uncommon for assassination attempts via poison or toxin to occur. Um, so he very famously spent a lot of his life studying poisons and toxins. Now, according to myth and legend, he uh, very famously studied all known toxins and poisons. Now, this is all known for his particular time period and in his particular geographic region, I imagine. Um, but still, that's a pretty hefty undertaking, so good for him. Uh, he also supposedly would run experiments on prisoners to see how different toxins and poisons affected the body. So, I mean, maybe some suspicious, uh, sus suspicious experimentations going on there, but that's just me. Certainly not anything the FDA would currently approve of, let's just say that. But again, who am I to judge the ancients? But um, supposedly all of his toils eventually paid off in that he was able to create something called Mithridate or Mithridatium, which was an alleged universal antidote to all known toxins and poisons. Um, yeah, so he 
allegedly had this amalgamation of like 50 different additives that he would grind up into powder, would mix with honey, and would form them into these little like almond sized pill capsules almost. And he would just take one every day, like we would take a multivitamin. Um, some people have suggested that included in these pills were small doses of arsenic and various other venoms. Um, his hope was that in taking these, he would eventually train his body to build up a natural immunity against it. Um, and he bragged pretty heavily about this during his time. He even supposedly, in a very public display, um, ingested a fatal dose of poison in order to show the public that his antidote worked. But nobody knows if that event actually happened and if the thing that he ingested was actually poison. Um, there's a very good chance that this universal antidote, in fact, did not exist. Um, I think it was probably all just a ploy, um, mostly because if you're able to convince your enemies that there's no point in trying to assassinate you via poison, they're probably just not going to try to assassinate you via poison. Um, so there's that. But uh, all of these great shows that he put on to show people how effective it was and all of the bragging that he did about it made it very clear that it was something he wanted other people to know about. When realistically, um, as somebody who was very well known for poisoning his own enemies, uh, if it was a real thing, he probably would have wanted to keep it secret lest it be stolen and his upper hand on those enemies be demolished. So there's that. But uh, there are definitely some other discrepancies in the whole legend. He was pretty well renowned for being a very heavy drinker. He claimed that he could outdrink anybody in his kingdom. He would often participate in uh, heavy eating contests because as humans we, even back then, entertained ourselves by just engorging ourselves with food. Good job, humanity. We're classy. Um, my guess is, is that if he ate venom and toxin and poison every single day and you coupled that with very heavy drinking and you know gluttonous eating that it would probably take a pretty hefty toll on the body and believe it or not this dude lived to the ripe old age of 71 which for us is like fairly on par but for the ancients was old like he was an old dude uh i don't think he probably would have made it that far if he was eating poison every day but that's just me also historians archaeologists have never actually found any proof that this elixir existed, despite lots and lots of effort to do so. Um, nobody's ever found the recipe for it. Nobody's ever found jars containing it. Nobody's ever felt any of the tablets. I mean, nothing. There's just nothing there. Just the story. So, chances are it wasn't true, but he, uh, he was very famous for supposedly having this antidote, which is kind of cool. I mean, he had a bit of an ego. And let's put it this way, he never actually was assassinated via poison, so maybe his ploy worked all along. I don't know. He's a smart guy, and I'm sure that there did exist some known antidotes to certain toxins, venoms, poisons. Um, and no doubt if they did exist, he probably took them because he was paranoid and because he was smart and he did so much research and he did so much in the field of toxicology there's a good point he may have even invented some of his own or discovered some of his own but the idea of a universal panacea is just kind of so yeah crazy dude really good book out there i don't know if i said this at the beginning if i'm being redundant i'm sorry but it's a really good book out there by somebody named adrian it's either mayer or meyer i can't remember and because my computer is off, I can't Google it for you. But uh, the small reflection you see is my phone screen recording. But uh, it's called The Poison King, and it's all about the life and times of Mithridates. And it's crazy. Like, talk about an old-timey soap opera. But check it out if you want to, if you're bored. Uh, also, if you haven't watched the new docuseries, The Tiger King, you should probably check that out because it is has nothing to do with Mithridates, but uh, everything to do with needing things to do late at night while locked up. Check out the Tiger King. It is messed up. Anyway, I love you all. I hope you're well. Uh, I'll see you on Monday.